Is the philosophy of rich dad, poor dad a practical path to follow, or is it simply an attractive theory? This question has sparked numerous debates among aspiring entrepreneurs and business enthusiasts alike. Rich Dad, Poor Dad is a book that has resonated with millions around the globe. Its central premise, that the wealthy teach their children about money in ways the less affluent do not, seems simple. Yet it's a concept that has challenged conventional thinking about wealth, investment, and financial independence. However, the question remains, is it as easy to apply these principles in practice, particularly in developed countries? Consider the case of Jane, an entrepreneur from the United States. After reading Rich Dad, Poor Dad, she was inspired to start her own business. She had a clear vision, a solid business plan, and the necessary capital to get started. However, she quickly encountered numerous challenges. From understanding complex tax laws, to securing the necessary permits and licenses, to competing in a saturated market, the realities of running a business in a developed country were far more difficult than she had anticipated. Then there's the story of John, a businessman from Germany. Despite having a profitable business, he found it hard to save and grow his wealth due to high living costs and taxing rates. His experience illustrates that even when a business is successful, maintaining and expanding personal wealth in a developed country can be a tough task. These cases show that while the rich dad, poor dad philosophy is compelling, applying it in developed countries presents its own unique challenges. But what about in less developed countries? Interestingly, the landscape changes. Take the case of Maria, an entrepreneur from an underdeveloped country. She found that running her business was, in fact, easier. With fewer competitors and less stringent regulations, she was able to grow her business and personal wealth more effectively. In conclusion, the rich dad, poor dad philosophy is not a one-size-fits-all approach. It comes with its own set of challenges, particularly in developed countries. However, it may prove to be more applicable in less developed regions where competition and regulations are less fierce. The key takeaway? Wealth creation and business success are not solely dependent on what one learns about money. They are also significantly influenced by the economic environment one operates in. Therefore, before embarking on your entrepreneurial journey, it's essential to understand the unique challenges and opportunities that your specific context presents. In the realm of business and finance, Knowledge is power, but the application of that knowledge in a way that factors in the complexities of your environment, that's the real path to success.